At 73 yeah. keys as opposed to 88 on a regular, you know, piano. Right. But right. man, the sound of it is just mesmerizing to me. It's a beautiful sound. And then you have your vibrato, you know? Yeah. And you flip that on, and it widens the picture. You, you're hearing the, uh, the, the way it modulates the, uh, the sound on both speakers, like a stereo. Right. And the intensity. Yeah, it's, there's nothing else like it. Do you usually set up your vibrato to be in time with the you know, song, or does it matter? I get close. Yeah, I've been. Yeah, you know, I'll uh, whatever time it is, I'll uh, I'll put the intensity all the way up and and try to catch where the whether real fast. Sure. You know, or just pick a, and then I'll lower the intensity. Oh God! Just so we can at least get the. The picture in there because I'm trying to, you know, <clears throat> transport myself on the other side of the board, on the other side of the glass, as you will. So, sure. see how you hear it from from the speakers. But uh, if it's at least close enough in time, I think. I, I, but you know, there's nothing wrong with it not being in time too. So, yeah. You know, some old recordings, it's just there. Yeah. It has its own thing, but. I like it kind of getting as close as I can to time. Well, one of my favorite sayings is music's perfect in its imperfection. You That's know? right. Because you got to have that grease in there, that movement. Yeah, that movement. And uh, it's, uh, it's just a great sound for, for ballads, too, you know? Oh, yeah. This is a particularly good one here, John. This is a great, great Rhodes you got. Thank you. 